Here we'll examine an endothermic reaction and explain why it takes place spontaneously. We'll start by adding some solid barium hydroxide octahydrate to an empty beaker. Next we'll add some solid ammonium thiocyanate to the beaker. So we have a mixture of the two solids. We'll insert a thermometer into the beaker. Then we'll stir the solids so they mix with each other. While we continue stirring, the temperature goes down considerably and liquid water forms in the beaker. We can also smell ammonia gas coming from the mixture. So two of our products are liquid water and ammonia gas. In addition, barium and thiocyanate ions from the original solids are now dissolved in the water that formed. The balanced overall equation for this reaction is BaOH2.8H2O solid plus 2NH4SCN solid forms Ba2 plus aqueous plus 2SCN minus aqueous plus 2NH3 gas plus 10 liquid waters. The fact that the temperature decreased a lot while the reaction was occurring tells us that this reaction absorbs heat from the surroundings. So it's highly endothermic. The potential energy diagram for this endothermic reaction would look something like this, with a large positive value for the enthalpy change delta H. The reactants have much less potential energy than the products, so the tendency toward minimum enthalpy would favor the reactants. Because minimum enthalpy favors the reactants, we would think the reactions should not occur. However, it did occur, and why does it occur spontaneously, even though it's highly endothermic? We can answer this by examining the entropy, or disorder. Notice the reactants are both solids, which means they have very low entropy. Now we'll look at the products. Notice that one of our products is liquid water. Remember, liquids have higher entropy than our solid reactants. Also notice that one of our products, ammonia, is a gas. Gases have much more entropy than our solid reactants. The other products are the aqueous ions Ba2 plus and SCN-. Recall that aqueous ions also have much greater entropy than solids. We'll summarize the phases or states by stating that reactants are both solids which have very low entropy while the products consist of a liquid, which has higher entropy than a solid, as well as aqueous ions and a gas, which both have very high entropy compared to a solid. So going from solids to liquid, gas, and aqueous ions brings about a large increase in entropy as products are formed. As we discussed, the phase or state of a substance has a large effect on its entropy, but so does the total number of particles in a system. In this reaction, there are three particles in the reactants. But if we count the total number of particles in the products, we see there are 15. Going from three particles to 15 particles means there's a large increase in entropy as products are formed. So even though the tendency to a minimum enthalpy favors the reactants in this reaction, the tendency toward maximum entropy highly favors the products. Because there's such a huge increase in entropy as products are formed, the effect of maximum entropy favoring products predominates over minimum enthalpy favoring reactants. And this reaction occurs spontaneously in the forward direction. And as the reaction proceeds, it absorbs energy from the surroundings and causes the temperature to decrease. Thank you.